Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your November 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see uh, the person that you're dealing with, I uh, mean, separated from. We're going to see if this person is going to come back towards you. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in um, wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So tell me about uh, Pisces. What messages do we have for, for Pisces and love? The person that Pisces is separated from. Will this person come back towards Pisces? Will this person come back towards Pisces? For November 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. For Pisces. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. We also have the Two of Pentacles, Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Nine of Cups here, the Three of Cups, and also we have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Seems like this person went into Hermit mode here, okay? I mean, you could have gone into Hermit mode to introspect, self-reflect here. You know, I feel like you went into hermit mode to focus on you, to manifest your own happiness here, to sort of like reassess your life. I do feel like a lot of you guys found your happiness here and I feel like you guys learned a lot from, you know, your past mistakes here. But I feel like as soon as you get to a place where you are good where you are, okay, I do feel like someone here is definitely coming back around trying to get back together here with you or trying to reconnect with you. Okay, so uh, Virgo energy with the uh, 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 Hermit, uh, Gemini Virgo with the Magician here, strong Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. I mean, you might have Virgo in your chart. All right, the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Hermit and the Ace of Wands here. The Two of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Like, I feel like someone here is trying to make their, uh, trying to figure out a way to make their way back to you here. Okay, some here is definitely looking for a passion new beginning. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles here, it could be that it could be that this person's serious about a commitment here with you, or that you guys could be focusing on your healing, focusing on your business, focusing on your pentacles at this time here. Okay, Temperance Sagittarius energy, the Nine of Cups here, and also the Star card. Some of you guys could be realizing your life's purpose here at this time. Or like I said, just focusing on your healing. You guys are going through a huge spiritual transformation. You guys have changed here. But with the Three of Cups here, like I said, some of you here is trying to reconnect with you. Or that you guys are putting yourself out there and meeting new people and just going out there and having fun. Okay? The judgment here too in the Three of Cups. Yeah, it seems like some of you here is definitely coming back around to apologize for something that they did here. Now... Pisces, because you have grown so much, since you have done a lot of work on yourself, your feelings towards this person might have completely changed here, okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo on the bottom of the deck. What will happen if Pisces and their person got back together? What will happen if Pisces and their person got back together for uh, November 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. For Pisces here. For Pisces. For Pisces here. All right, Pisces. So we have the Ten of Swords and also the Four of Wands here. Four of Wands. Okay. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy here, and the Nine of Wands here, okay? Also, we have the Ten of Pentacles. I thought my mic went out, so that's why I was like, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles here. And also we have the Ace of Swords. What will happen if you guys got back together with this person? 
It seems like this person is really truly sorry here. Yeah. It seems like whoever this is, this person's promising you commitment. This person's promising you, you happiness, stability here. This person's promising that they will never hurt you again here. Let's see. Tell me the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? It seems like this person had poor self-control here. It seems like the betrayal stems from a secret that came out here. Here is the thing. If you do give this person a chance, I feel like more secrets will come out and I feel like this will re-injure you again. So that's something to look out for here. Because I do feel like this person has secrets that they never shared with you here. Yeah, they never shared with you here. Tell me the Four of Wands here. Oh, shoot. The Four of Wands and the Hangman. The, the Hangman actually came out in the reverse. It fell to the floor on, on the reverse here. Okay, actually it fell like this. Sorry. And I feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual here that's basically having a hard time letting you go here, Pisces. Okay. I really feel like you sacrificed a lot for this person here, Pisces, and I feel like you guys don't want to do it anymore. You know, with the Nine of Cups here and the Star card, you guys could be just really happy with where you guys are at. With the Three of Cups here again, and also the Hierophant here. We have the Nine of Wands and also the Eight of Pentacles here. Seems like this person wants to do everything that they can to fix things here with you. It does seem like this person wants to make things right. The Ten of Pentacles here and the World. The Ace of Swords here and the Seven of Cups here. Seems like whoever this is, this person's ready provi to provide you with some sort of clarity here. If this person has really confused you here, Pisces. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, there is an individual here that has done some deep inner work here. This person has found some sort of clarity here and they feel like this person wants to share it with you. All right. With the Eight of Wands, yeah, expect communication from this individual here. Seems like we have someone here that definitely feels like they learned from their mistakes here. Okay, this person learned from their mistakes, this person is in love with you here, and that this person wants to build a life here with you, Pisces, okay? So I really feel like this person's really serious here with the Three of Swords here and also the Queen of Swords. Here is the thing here, Pisces. I feel like this is you. Like, I feel like you might have been beyond hurt by the situation here, and you're turning your back on the situation for good. Yeah, you could also be ghosting this individual here, too. I mean, you have every right to decide what to do here because you don't owe anyone anything, right? So if you feel like that's the right thing to do, good for you because you just know that this is the right thing to do and that you're doing this for yourself and nobody else here. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.